What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Beauty and the Beast, where I, the Beast, hang out with my lovely wife, the Beauty. And we talk to you guys about video games, movie, pop culture, and what's happening in the world today. We got a really cool episode lined up for you guys. 25 questions to ask your super cool spouse. I think she came up with that topic. Maybe not. We'll find out. How are you doing today, honey? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. A little tired. You look tired. I got to say, no matter how much, uh, I don't know, I'm not a woman, mascara you put on, you can't hide how tired you look. You look actually pretty, pretty exhausted. For the people watching, I don't run the Beastly Gamer Sweatshop. My wife homeschools our kids. She works from home. She's a homemaker. She cooks every single day. She's a really, really awesome person. And that can, you know, take a toll on you. So I want you to know how much I appreciate how awesome you are. And I'm really looking forward to taking you out this year on a super cool vacation where you can, uh, you know, let your hair down and have a good time. A word. Word, word, word. So today's video is going to be a super cool one. Awesome questions. We came up. The other person just actually got the questions. And uh, we're going to go through them now for you. So I'm going to go first. Peanut Kate, what is your all-time favorite video game and why, why, why? Um, well, I'll definitely have to say The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3. Yep. I kind of figured that. Yeah. Uh, big deal uh, game, yeah. I just fell in love with it. Um, I mean, I know there's probably other games that are better, and my opinion's probably an unpopular one. No, I, I don't think so at all. Uh, but to me, it's it's the greatest game that I've ever played. The one I got into the most. That's the one you made me play and turned me into a Gwent Gwent all-star so yeah that's the game i i love the game too and i can totally totally understand why you would you would uh choose that all right you got one for me now yeah um what is your all-time favorite horror movie and why holy snap um my all-time favorite horror movie would probably be oh my goodness goodness gracious I don't want to say something new, like Smile, um, even though it was really, really, really good. Um, Insidious, uh, there's so many fantastic movies. I'll probably have to go back to one of the originals and say that it was... I like Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> yeah. There's a poster of it right that. there. And I'm talking about Night of the Living Dead, the 1990s remake uh, that really, really kind of changed uh, the original film and, and added slight twists. But to me, one of the scariest things you could ever imagine in this world would be to go outside and see people that you used to know walking, shambling towards you, only wanting to devour your flesh. That's a terrible, terrifying idea. And I, I've, my whole life, I've had these reoccurring zombie nightmares. So I'm a zombie guy, thick and thin, thick. <laughs> and and uh, so to me, Night of the Living Dead is probably one of my favorite horror movies of all time, if not my favorite. Yeah. All right. For you, what is your favorite horror movie to watch around Halloween time? Now, just so you guys know, this is a lot of different topics. It's not just scary stuff. It's video game stuff and entertainment. So around Halloween time. Uh, usually around every Halloween, me and the kids watch, um, A Nightmare Before Christmas. Is that considered a horror movie? No, but that's just what we watch around Halloween. Um, I don't even one... know what that's about. Is it a good movie? Maybe I'll have to watch it. You guys let me know in the yes. comments, should I watch A Nightmare Before Christmas? I know it's Jack Skellington is the guy's mm -hmm. name. He's yeah. an anorexic. Um, and is the movie about him trying to put on masks? He's a skeleton. Okay. All right. He's well. supposed to be skinny. Okay. All right. I believe you. Um. So, the horror movie. I don't know, like, watching it around Halloween, but one that I really like. I don't know. Like, I don't really have a favorite horror movie. Well, you. I know I you mean, like I Insidious like, with me. I like, I like it. I can watch it. Oh, that's a good one. Come yeah, on. I could watch it a lot. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll watch that around Halloween. All right. Works for me. What you got for me, lady? Okay, let's see. What is your favorite video game to play with friends? With friends? Yeah. <laughs> you already know the answer to that. But I'm not going to say the last of us. Um, something I used to play years ago 
I have really, really fond memories of playing with my wife and playing with my sons who are now off in college was a game called Resistance. I think we played what Resistance Three? Was it part? It wasn't part one, was it? Uh, yeah. It was part one. We played Resistance. It was a PlayStation Three exclusive, and it was about so. this, you know, um, an alternate timeline where the U.S. Uh, was under siege from these aliens from space, and it was a really crazy Halo type game. And me, my wife, and my sons, we just just went crazy playing it and I still have fond memories of it I wish I could go back in time and just do it one more time you know one of those fond memories today I really don't get into much multiplayer with friends because I don't like people okay so (laughs) um, if I did like people it would probably be The Last of Us but I don't don't mess with people too much but yeah that's one of my fondest fondest memories of playing with friends Um, here's a good one for you what is your favorite video game soundtrack? 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 Oh shoot! Um, I don't know. <laughs> I well, Minecraft is like oh snap to me. Some that I always go back and think about. Minecraft, the soundtrack is just that's a crimi- awesome. criminally underrated soundtrack. Yeah. I, it's one of the greatest soundtracks of all time to me, as far as video games go. Aria Math is one of the greatest video game tracks I've ever heard. I think it's special. I think this guy like did some kind of voodoo, whatever his name is, CK, whatever his name is, to make that work because it's one of the best soundtracks. I can't believe you said that. Um, it's super, super dope, and uh, that's a very, very good choice. Yeah. All right, what kind of weird question All you right. got for me? So mine is similar. It's what, What's your favorite horror movie soundtrack? movie soundtrack that's easy for me yeah. bird box <laughs> really bird box has a very i did not think you were gonna say that well i mean there's other video game soundtracks a lot i mean i was about to say last time night living dead is really up there too actually it might be night of living dead now that you know made me think I really love that soundtrack. You guys wouldn't believe how how many times me and my wife have like cleaned up part of the house or rearranged the garage listening to uh, uh, Pump Pump, Pump Run. Oh Pump yeah. Run. Check it out. And if you don't like it, yeah. please don't comment and tell me how weird we are because we've listened to that for like hours on end. It's great, honestly. Like I at first, like I thought he would think that I was thinking he was weird for listening to it. But then, like, I really liked it. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let's play it. So people watching this, I want you to know there's somebody for everybody. Because if she likes Pump Run and I like Pump Run, there's literally someone for everybody. All right, the next question for you is, what's the scariest video game you've ever played, baby? Oh, what? I don't know. Um... Don't say Resident Evil uh, 5 get out of here punch some rocks and get scared of them okay so i never beat silent hill did you I did play, play it, it. Mm. silent hill one S- that hills. one was pretty scary what about Re- that, you did resident evil 2 oh yeah well because i played the new one not the old one the remake um yeah but also dead space I didn't play that. And we're about to buy that and play that now. Look, the only reason we don't have these new games is not because we broke, because we got money. But it's like we have a thousand games we still haven't played. Yeah. We don't have time to ever catch up. It's terrible. It's the worst I'm still trying to beat God of War. It's really insane. It's really insane. All right. What do you have for me? Okay, let's see. What is the first horror movie you ever saw? It was Return... Well, the first one I can remember, I was a little kid, probably the age of our son or a little bit older. My mother and father took me to the drive-in in Ohio, and we saw Return of the Living Dead. You mean the movie Lied? Yeah, that movie. And uh, it stuck with me. And um, it's the, the scene where the trash man, the oil man, came out of that cellar and said, More brains! And you remember that movie? We watched no. with the girls, no? Did we? Yeah, where the guy, uh, he, the mortician, he went in there and he had all the body parts cut up in the bag. And he was telling the guy to burn it. Yeah. And then the guy okay. opened it up and it was hands and feet. And, and it was just 
crazy craziness. I think that was the first movie I recall. I was a young kid, so it scarred my soul, and I never, ever forgot. So that's definitely uh, the first horror movie that I saw. Let me see. For you, uh, what is the most difficult video, video game that you've ever played? Uh, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Really? Yeah. Way to go! Because that became also one of your favorite games. Yeah. That and Bloodborne. Like, those games are just but you, the hardest games I feel, I've ever played. I feel like you resented Bloodborne a little bit after you after you beat it, but you loved Elden Ring like the yeah. man who crept into your window one night and you married him the next day, you know? I mean... Well, At first, I mean, you didn't want to play it. I remember I was trying so hard to get you to play it with me. You were like, no, no, it's stupid. I don't want to. And then all of a sudden, you were learning every secret about it, figuring out lore, learning all the spells, and just really, really... We played that game more than any game last year. I mean, it's it's still hard, but I kind of adapted to how to play and get past it, so... That's why I really like it now. Is that so. game close to you as far as your favorites in The Witcher? Or is oh, The Witcher yeah. like superseded? Yeah. Like, oh, really? It's close. Yeah. Okay, you're about to say something. What are you about to say? No. I don't think so. All right, well, hit me. Hit me. What you got for me? Okay, so what is your favorite video game franchise? Franchise would have to be a, a something that has more than one game. Um, and something that I have to play when it comes out... The Last of Us. Last of Us only has one game. It's not a franchise. Oh, no, it has two games. Damn it. I, <laughs> I was making a joke because uh, I knew you won't ever play uh, the second. Oh, this is terrible. You guys let me know in the comments if I should let my biases go and play as the girl who played golf with Joel's head because that's really how I feel. I, I know Neil Druckmann, you guys just don't know. I've read so much about the guy. It's almost like he hated Joel for being a strong man and wanted to just take him out in the worst way possible. God damn you, Neil Druckmann. You guys let me know if I should play it. The Last of Us is my favorite video game franchise. That's the truth. All right. You got me. What is your favorite character from the Naruto franchise? Franchise, franchise. <laughs> Naruto. Actually, that was my next question to ask you. <laughs> it's the same question? Uh uh, for real? Yeah, but we I said, what's your favorite character from the Naruto anime series? Oh wow, you're you're really really good. Okay, so we can answer this one together. That's actually pretty cool. Then I'll follow up with the next question. My favorite character from Naruto. This is a stupid question. We both had a stupid question together. Um, yeah. Naruto. Because we had all those pictures of stuff we love. Uh, I would say, yeah, Naruto is an easy question. All right, next question. Yeah. Um, what video game world would you like to visit in real life? Can't <laughs> she thinking about that? Oh, snap. Say Resident Evil. No, what? I say, I the, don't know. say The Walking Dead. Um, <laughs> it would have to be. I don't know. There's so many cool ideas. You tell me you don't have one of them in your mind? Um,. Naruto maybe, is a game. Me, well, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, but would you I might end up. You might, end, you might end up as as a ramen seller. So you know. But I have the powers and like the stuff people can do. In you the can game. go and train and, and become a shinobi. I mean, that's what I would do. I yeah. would keep my big ass in in a school until I see a light in my hand, at least. Yeah, I pr it'd probably be Naruto or like Zelda or something. Zelda, yeah. That, Zelda would be tight. That that would actually be cool. Breath right? of the Wild. For sure. Okay, so what is the most difficult horror movie you've ever watched? Ooh, Martyrs. I knew you were going to say that. Martyrs is a film about uh, this girl who was, um, she was, a lot of bad things happened to her when she was a kid. She escaped and she found the people that was doing it to her as an adult. And the things that happened to her and her friend are beyond you know, you can't even talk about it on YouTube. So if you guys ever get a chance, I'm not talking about the remake that was made here in America. Jesus Christ. People in America destroy films. Ooh, I think I can make it better. Wrecked. All you do is wreck a great a great film. Martyrs, the original film. I think it's a, is it French? It's no, it's uh oh, 
I don't think so. Yeah, poulez-vous. I, I don't speak French. But yeah, Martyrs is an incredible... That was a horrible French impersonation. <laughs> Boonie, Boonie. I talk like I'm from Africa. Uh, yeah, um, it's it's definitely uh, the hardest film to watch, especially the end. It's something else. I agree. Yeah, I could I I really hated that movie. <laughs> it's a great movie. Just watching it was... Uh... All right, what you got for me, lady? What's your favorite episode from the Office TV show? Uh, my favorite episode from the Office TV show. The Office TV show? I would say it's probably when Jim and... So, we, I don't see how we're figuring this stuff out because my very next uh, question for you is about a TV show. Um, probably when Jim and Pam finally got together. When they realize they love each other, maybe the okay. episode where they're on top of that roof, where they uh, were on their first, you know, on that date oh, on top of the okay. roof. That's early on. The where they um, got like engaged is like season five, I think. Okay. I, I, I watch that show like once a year, the whole entire show. <laughs> what do you love most about Gilmore Girls? I know it's your favorite. I'm sorry, guys. So, guys watching this, this is a TV show. I've never watched an episode. My 12 year old daughter tried to get me to watch it. My wife knew I wouldn't watch it. But what do you love about that show? Because you didn't turn my daughter into a Gilmore holic. It's just the dynamic between the mother and daughter and how awesome their relationship is. Is that why you're the way you are with our kids? Good job, baby. (laughs) Well, she's a single mother, but yeah, I guess so. All right, the next question for you. Well, don't leave you me. Just, you just asked Oh, me. okay, good, good, good. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Go ahead. What video game genre do you enjoy the most? <sighs> do I enjoy the most? Damn it. RPG. Now, the reason I say RPG, because at first I was thinking, you know, survival horror is something I really, really love. Adventure games like God of War, I really, really love. But then RPG, my mind immediately went to, like, Final Fantasy turn-based games, but then it also went to the Fallout series, Elden Ring. I was like, okay. The Witcher. The Witcher. RPG, definitely, bar none. There's no question for me. RPG is the, the way to go. Mm-hmm. For sure. All right. What's the first video game you ever played? Mm-hmm. I think it was Super Mario World. And it was on somebody else's Nintendo because... I didn't have any. I didn't. My first console. I didn't get into till I got the PS One, when the PS Two was already out. <laughs> yeah, I heard that you were always a generation behind. You poor thing. Now you got every every console yeah. and everything in your house. So now I'm on the question you just did. Okay, what video game genre do you enjoy the most? Um, RPG. RPG. All right. So we're, yeah, we're very sure. very similar there. All right. It's on you now. What's the scariest video game you've ever played? Mm. Scariest video game I ever played. I'm trying to really, really think about this because, of course, your mind goes to Resident Evil. But then I'm trying to think back. And and a game that really stands out in my mind is Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is one of the scariest games one of the greatest stories and and just one of the best experiences i had you know as a early man so i'm going to stick with silent hill i think silent hill 2 is really really incredible okay all right right. what is the first horror movie that you ever saw oh snap it was um i'm about to say snap is not a scary movie that's a song by a rap group uh (laughs) snap on me (laughs) <laughs> I think it was because I wasn't really allowed to watch scary movies when I was real young but I think it was uh, Seven Seven? Like what's in the box Seven? Yeah Wow that's a hell of a a first Sheesh Yeah and I was terrified <laughs> Wow I, No 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 I'm sorry I'm totally wrong I did sneak once to watch a scary movie even though I wasn't allowed to and it was Candyman and I was terrified that is not a scary movie I don't know why people are afraid of that movie because I was like five Uh, okay alright so on you 
Okay, so what horror movie world would you like to visit in the real life? Fuck, that's a terrible question. It's like, how would you like to die today? Uh, yeah. Let me think. If I could visit a horror movie, horror don't movie say, world? Don't say Saw. I'd much rather visit Saw than like Night of the Living Dead. I'll whoop somebody's ass. Um, let me think. Horror movie. It wouldn't be Freddy. It wouldn't be Jason. Um, it wouldn't be Smile because I'd be wrecked. Couldn't be Michael Myers. Um, my only option would be like, but that's a terrible option, but I have to go with it. Hostile or something. What? Because they, they I mean, look, look, I'm tied up, but I'm a what, big, what about sc- I'm strong as hell. Insidious? That's just as bad. The Conjuring. The con- What? It. The, you do love me. What? I thought you loved me. I'm trying to survive. What's something scary that people survived in? Maybe The Mist. The Mist. A terrible movie by Stephen King where at the very end the guy kills his whole family inside the car then hops out, walks five steps and sees the army saving the day and looks behind him and realizes oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. Maybe I'll do The Mist and I'll just hold out on killing you and the kids and just wait. See what happens because I wouldn't kill y'all anyway, so it is what it is. The mist that's my answer. (laughs) Boo, boo, boo. All right, it's on you. I just asked you that. Oh, you did ask me that. What is your favorite (laughs) horror movie? Let me see. Uh, video game soundtrack. What is your what video game soundtrack is your favorite to listen to outside of the game? I just answered this. I said Minecraft. I brought the same question twice. I'd be messing things up. All right, you go. (laughs) <laughs> okay um what's your favorite video game remake or remaster Ooh. Mm. remake or remaster my mind says the last of us part one is really good but there's not really enough in there um but my i'm also my mind is trying to figure out what other remasters i played that were like really 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 worth their song you got any ideas? What if I play this a remaster or remake? The Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really, really want to play Resident Evil Four. Okay. Resident Evil Two. Resident yeah. Evil Two is probably um, the greatest remake I've ever played. So I'll stick with that. Resident Evil Two is, is worlds apart um, from the original. So Resident Evil Two. All right. Uh, what video game character do you relate to the most? What? Shout it. <laughs> Zelda, because I'm a princess. Oh, I thought you were about to say Link. Good job. Link is the <laughs> one who pl- you play as the character. Way to go, babe. Good stuff. I-, I have to agree with you there. All right. What you got? Okay, so let's do... <laughs> what horror movie character do you relate to the most? Candy man. <laughs> For people who know me in real life, you relate to that. Um, yeah. oh, poor, which, poor you. <laughs> J- yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jason, maybe. Jason. Well, um, I'm. I feel like I'm a a functioning psychopath, and I think that if things really, really got messed up, I could wear a ski mask and destroy a whole a whole city. I think I really do. Um, it's a hockey mask, not a ski mask. I'm thinking about Casey Jones now. Yeah, um, a hockey mask. I'm black. I don't know what sport that is. Uh, yeah, so a hockey mask. I think Jason. I'm big and I'm scary, and one swipe and it's a wrap. All right. So, um, what's your favorite movie from the pop culture universe? Mm-hmm. What's pop culture? Popular culture. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Aren't, aren't all movies in popular culture? Are they popular movies? <laughs> <laughs> Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. See? You won. That's good. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with that one. What? <laughs> all right. It's on you. Okay. Um, what's your most memorable video game boss battle you ever had? Holy smokes. It has to be Elden Ring. Um, maybe not. 
I hate being in my 40s because everything is like a thousand years ago. So it's like so hard to remember. I think I had some awesome boss battles in like Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker. Um, God dang. It's so hard to recall. There's some epic uh, battles in um, God of War. See, you're much further than I am, so I can't even speak on it. But Elden Ring? Yep. Elden Ring has some of the best. I would just say Elden Ring as a... (gasps) No. Every (laughs) boss in Shadow of the Colossus was incredible. Each, Every enemy in Shadow of the Colossus was a boss. And the further you got... And see, they, they have different names, so it's really hard for me to say. And so... I yeah. would, I would, because it, the totality of the experience, the environment, the music, the way it makes you feel when you stab that that mark on them, I would yeah. say Shadow of the Colossus has like the best bosses, and I'm not going to name one boss because all of them are really, really, really incredible. It's pretty epic. Yeah. All right. So this is a good one. What video game moment made you cry or feel emotional? You know. I know like, they don't, because you but, cried all over me. I woke up, you were crying, the sheets were wet. Go ahead. Anyways, it was when Sarah died in The Last of Us. Yeah. I think I may have had a tear too. The first time I ever see that was, I was done. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one of the most memorable moments um, for me as far as emotion as well. I think the first time I saw it, I was finished. And I was like, what is going on here? These developers are really on the next level with this crap. So, yeah, good answer. What you got for me, lady? What video game accessory or peripheral would you like to have? Uh, what I did not pre-order. Um, PSVR 2. PSVR 2. Um, I think that is definitely one of um, the most sought after devices I did watch a review this morning from Digital Foundry on it and um, it, it's my dad's calling me I'm sorry I keep hanging up on his ass to stop it dad um, that's a really really incredible incredible um, piece of hardware and I'll probably have mine in the next couple of weeks and uh, I'll make you play it so you love it as much as I do No, oh, I'm over it alright the next question Taylor made for you if you weren't married to me, which video game character would you marry? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. See, she can't say a white guy now because I'm just like, what? I don't look like him. Uh, <laughs> anyone. It doesn't matter. Tell well, me. Then I would only ever be able to say, like, Barrett or something. Yeah, well, screw Barrett. Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. Um. Geralt. Geralt, but he can't have kids. He's sterile. That's fine. So you just want him for the sex? No. Well, so really? He can protect me. What? He got a lighter with some spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass would be burnt. All right. Well, that's a good fucking answer. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind. Like, if Geralt walked in her house and said, she's mine, I'd say, why, Geralt? <laughs> I wouldn't fight his ass. All right, good answer, babe. All right, what you got for me? <laughs> What's the most memorable horror horror movie scene you've ever seen? Mm, uh, well, see, it's hard to remember everything. So when you say memorable shit that I would have remembered five years ago because I saw that year, is completely in the back of my mind. So I want to go with something in recent memory. The ending of Smile, when the demon enters... Rose's body is a very surreal and terrifying experience um, and um, I feel like seeing that there's a, is there a dog outside, <laughs> outside barking for no reason you fucking dog uh, seeing that seeing that and, and seeing you know really getting a visualization of what this thing was and how it operated it added a whole degree a new degree of depth to what we you know what it was and made it more visceral and terrifying in my mind okay and so I would say that's something very very memorable if you yeah. had to choose one horror movie monster to to try to escape from who would it be um the blob 
<laughs> Where did that come from? That's fucking great. <laughs> oh, I just thought of something like really slow. <laughs> That is fucking fantastic. Wow. That is a great, great answer, man. That is a great answer. <laughs> All right. What you got? Oh, uh, shoot. Okay. What video game series would you like to see get a spin-off, spin-off or crossover? Um. Now there's a train. <laughs> you guys hear the train? We're not making this up. Uh, what video game series would I like to see get a spinoff or a crossover? crossover? Um, let me think. I got an I got an answer. You have one? Yeah. Let me hear. Don't say the train. <laughs> the Last of Us and Resident Evil crossover. Oh my God! You won the internet. How tight would that be? You won the fucking internet. Um. I think that would be an incredible uh, crossover. Um, that is a great idea. Naughty Dog needs to really, really holler at, at uh, Capcom about some kind of crossover there because, yeah, wow. Okay, um, name one fictional place where you would love to work. What? What? Um. <laughs> Uh, the only fictional place I can think of is like a, the ramen shop in Naruto. Oh, really? Well, what? I mean, a fictional place. It could be a TV show. It could be a movie. It could be an anime. It could be a game. It could be anything. Oh. Uh. Fictional place, as in it does not exist in the real world. Like, you cannot drive your car to it right now. I'm sorry to make your brain hurt. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking just specifically video games. <laughs> no. Name a fictional place that you would love to work. The office. The office. Sure. You would love to work at the office and work for Michael Scott. Absolutely. Absolutely, I would. Oh, God. I can only imagine the stories. All right, what you got for me? It would be the best. All right, what's what's your most anticipated, anticipated video game you're looking forward to? Uh, Resident Evil 4, for sure. Bar, bar none. There's no, is that like a train? Is Are they like bringing in angels from heaven or something it's so loud um resident evil 4 for sure is uh the game i'm looking forward to most i did a reaction to uh the 23 minute video that game informer did it looks really really incredible and you know more than anyone how many times i beat that game i beat it like eight times on the switch i beat it 42 times on the gamecube back in the day and probably because you're old you married an old guy. But yeah, for sure, that's um, something that I think would be definitely worth the price of admission. All right, um, let me see. What's your favorite video game side quest or mini game? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of one. There's so many. Well, The Witcher has a ton of side quests. I what about know. the little goofy guy with the big eyes? Well, if you can't think of one, we can just pass. Yeah. That, that, what, what's yours? You don't got an idea? A side quest? Yeah. It's hard to think. It's well, too hard. Yeah, like the last game I played and I wanted to beat all the side quests on was like Spider-Man. Because, I mean, you got to have a, a system set up and designed where a person wants to play that. So The Witcher has really good side quests. But yeah. It's been a while since you played that. We do have the PS5 update, but you haven't messed with that yet. I mean, God of War has pretty good ones, too. They're so good you can't remember any of them, huh? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. All right. Yeah. It's all good. What you got for me? Mm, let's see. What's your favorite video game, Easter egg or hidden feature? Ooh, uh, I won't say, e well, I can do two. In um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night on PlayStation 1, ooh, I like how my fingers are moving. Um, if you take the disc 
and put it in the PlayStation 1 and, and go to the CD mode, you'll hear a la carte talking about the game, and then you can play some of the music from the game. That's incredible. Really? Yeah. Awesome. I'll, no, I'll do three. In Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1, if you have other Konami games that are made by the same company on your memory card, and you're playing it on the PlayStation 1, when you fight Psycho Mantis, he uses his telekinesis, and he tells you which games are on there that, that are from Konami that you like to play, and he reads your mind, which is super tight. Super. How do you remember all this? Because I'm fucking old, son. Um, That's why I said, how do you remember? And the last but not least, playing Crash Bandicoot on Uncharted 4 on that PlayStation in Nathan Drake's living room. Yeah. That really... Um, yeah, that one's awesome. Yeah. Um, let me see. What's the most anticipated horror movie you're looking forward to and if it's not one you're looking forward to what horror movie would you like to see a sequel to oh snap i don't know i don't know any horror movies that are coming out caveat uh, there if it's not a horror movie that's a sequel what would you like to see a sequel yeah to? i'm trying to think um maybe you did like smile didn't you yeah i was gonna say that or bird box Oh, I thought you were about to say uh, Brokeback Mountain. Thank God. Okay. It's not a horror movie. Yes, it is. Okay. Bird Box. Bird Box okay. 2 is coming, so. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's a super good movie. Awesome. Um, and uh, Smile 2, depending on um, what happens. The movie made over $100 million more than it cost to develop it and produce it. So I think it's it's a, a, box, mar- a, a box office success. I want to see Lamb 2. Lamb too. Please don't get people looking at that, babe. All right. What you got for me? Come on, Brett. They can look at it. It's a good movie. Mm-hmm. It was your favorite. Yep. Okay. Let's see. What? How many more questions have we got left? I got two. Okay. What's your, um, your favorite video game that's underrated and not well known? Jumping, well jumping, known. jumping flash. Jumping Flash to this day, I heard Colin Moriarty talk about it a couple days ago, babe, um, because they just add, they added trophies to it. Jumping Flash is a game where you play as this robotic rabbit named Robbit, and um, you're uh, jumping from planet to planet, and, and you're trying to destroy this evil scientist that is destroying the landscapes of these planets. And you, you have this ability to jump three times in the air and come down on them and shoot rockets and you get power-ups. And I just, oh, it's so underrated. It's criminally underrated. And it's such a great story and such a feel-good game. And even 30 years later, damn, it's been that long. Life sucks. I still love Jumping Flash. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Yes. Um, let me see. With the success of The Last of Us TV show, what TV video game would you like to see adapted for a TV show and why? Um, God of War. Because why not? That would be so awesome. Would you like it if they, they had Matthew Broderick playing as uh, Kratos? Okay. Matthew Broderick was the guy from your dad's favorite movie, Godzilla. Also, oh, no. he voiced Simba, the adult, the adult version in The Lion King. No. <laughs> no? Okay. No. God of War, you think that'd be a good... I think they're working on a God of War TV show or a movie. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, um, I think that would too. I think that... Uh, well, from what I hear, Sony is working uh, with their development studio house for every time they're releasing something as far as... Uh, a TV property, a TV show, or a movie—they're releasing new game content with it. So they really? did that. Yeah, they did that with the last. I mean, with Uncharted, they had that that Uncharted, like the remake that came yeah. out um, for PS4, PS5, and then um, with, of course, The Last of Us. They had The Last of Us Part One that came out to to bring people in and bring people to Part Two. Uh, so I think that with God of War, there's going to be something really big, maybe a DLC. Who knows? Be awesome. Maybe a couple years from now when it comes out, it'll be a new God of War game. But yeah, that's definitely. You have any more questions for me? 
I got one more. Let me hear it. What's your favorite video game that was adapted into a movie or TV show? That was adapted into one? Um, video game that was adapted into a movie or a TV show. Or what game would you like to see adapted into one? So it's almost the same question. Um, I think you were looking at my list. Uh, if I could get any video game adopted into a TV show. No. Silent Hill. I love Silent Hill. I think Silent Hill is really, really, really amazing. Um, later on, the movies got a little cheesy, but the original film was really, really good. And I do believe that they're adopting Silent Hill 2. I think there's a Silent Hill 2 in the works. In the I video know, game world. Yeah. And I think that if they're, they're doing that, they can bring Silent Hill 2 to the big screen and, and, and really, really flesh that out and make it great. Because Konami's really been on the bad side of gamers for a long time. And yes, yeah, Silent Hill is, is a good film. I think it's one of those ones that broke that mold of video games being trash when it comes to the big screen. I think it's been a lot of fun to watch and experience. Have you seen any of, this, any of the Silent Hill movies? I think I've seen the first one, but I also think that they are making a new game and show for it. Hopefully, movie. hopefully they fire the nitwits at Konami that have made things so bad and the ones who wanted to cancel uh, Hideo Kojima and some of these guys um, who, uh, you know, work so hard to build that brand up. But yeah, that's those are my answers and I'm sticking to them. We uh, we kind of made these flashcards and, and uh, pass them back and forth. So I guess some of our ideas got a little crossed, but it was a lot of fun. And um, I, I really do appreciate uh, spending this time with you and spending this time with you guys, talking to you guys about what we enjoy in, in the entertainment world. Let us know what you feel about our answers. Write your answers in the comments below, how you feel about yeah. some of this stuff, because uh, we really want to get to know you guys. You can't, you know, creep into the bed at night, but we want to know about you in the daytime. Let us know for sure. Make sure you leave a thumbs up to show support for the Beastly Gamer channel and the Beauty and the Beast show. We'll be back to bring you guys more content. If you guys have any ideas about new content, make sure you leave it in the comments section. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'm Kate. And we'll see you guys next time.